Hi guys, in this video we're going to look at how rocks are formed and the three different types of rocks that are formed in the different ways. These types of rocks are igneous rocks, sedimentary rocks and metamorphic rocks. So firstly a little background information on rocks. The earth is about 4.5 billion years old, okay, so that's a pretty old. Uh, however, most of the rocks found on earth are only about 100 million years old. Uh, and this, 100 million years sounds like a long time, but when you're talking 4.5 billion years, you can see that it's only a fraction. So therefore, there must be some process which is making and breaking rocks down and making new ones. The first way that rocks can be made is through the cooling of molten rock. And we call these igneous rocks. And igneous comes from the word Greek word from fire. So we have this molten rock inside the earth in the mantle and as this gets up to the top of the earth in the crust it can cool down and form rocks and this can happen either on top of the earth where lava on the surface cools down into extrusive rocks or it can happen just below the surface of the earth where the magma inside the earth cools down to form intrusive rocks. Now these rocks have different properties based on how they formed. Some of the properties of igneous rocks is that they're strong and hard and more importantly they have interlocking crystals. The reason they have interlocking crystals is because when that molten rock cooled and the crystals grew, these crystals form. So because it all formed at the same time, these crystals interlock with each other. Some examples of igneous rocks include pumice, basalt, obsidian, and granite. And the thing that matters here is the minerals that are in that molten rock when it cools, as well as how quickly that molten rock cools. Sedimentary rocks, on the other hand, are formed when small particles of rocks or sediments settle over time, and we call this deposition, and the particles become cemented together. So basically, they're sitting there in layers, and over many, many, many years, those rocks start to stick together, and we call this cementation. For this reason, sedimentary rocks are found in layers. So they'll have a layer that's come from one place through erosion, and then maybe the waterways change, and you get uh, erosion bringing the sediments from another place into the same lake. They're soft, so they can generally break apart in your hand, and they don't have interlocking crystals. The reason for this is the crystals were not formed within the rock. They were formed in the previous rocks uh, that were then weathered, and those sediments formed this sedimentary rock. So those crystals were formed a long time ago before the rock. Some examples of sedimentary rocks include mudstone, shale, siltstone, and sandstone. The difference here between the different types of rocks is the sediments that make up those rocks, both the size of the sediments and the minerals found in those sediments. So sandstone has reasonably large sediments that are cemented together, while siltstone has very fine grains of sediment cemented together. The third type of rock is called a metamorphic rock. And this again comes from a Greek word, meta being change and morph being form. So over time, inside the earth, the immense heat and pressure causes those rocks in the earth to change forms. So it might come from an igneous rock or it might come from a sedimentary rock, but we end up with metamorphic rocks, which have different properties from the rocks that they're formed from. Some examples of metamorphic rocks uh, include marble, which is made when limestone undergoes immense, immense heat and pressure over a period of time, and gneiss, which is made when diorite undergoes immense heat and pressure over the time. So you can see these rocks are made from other rocks. The common thing here is heat and pressure, and the difference between the type of rock will be the different rock, sedimentary or igneous, uh, that it, the rock is made of. So in this video, we have looked at igneous rocks coming from fire when magma uh, from or lava from volcanoes cools to form rocks. We've looked at sedimentary rocks, which are formed when small particles called sediments are cemented together to form rocks. 
and we've looked at how these two igneous and sedimentary rocks can undergo immense heat and pressure to change form into a third type of rock called a metamorphic rock. Peace out, guys.